It's time for another Starbase summary where we gaze upon the majesty of footage coming out of Starbase. Look at it. Look at all the majesty. Booster QD moving down the road. That is a booster quick disconnect, and that one looks like it's headed to pad two. Of course, to refresh your memory, the booster quick disconnect is what con uh, connects to the bottom of the booster to move the propellants, all of the uh, fluids, methane, liquid oxygen, and other consumables that they use to get that thing ready to fly. And this big quick, quick disconnect is something that actually will reach out and touch the bottom of the booster so that they can uh, pipe those consumables in. There we saw that lift of the ship adapter. I, w I wonder how many people actually understand the importance of the ship adapter. Do, do people just like think they're doing that for fun? Now, we saw the ship adapter lifted in over there at pad one, and then the crane is scooting away from that work over towards pad two. Now, here we've got a, another smaller crane that is installing that booster quick disconnect on pad two. Didn't need the huge crane to lift it up. Wow, look at that. This is going to be back over at pad one, it looks like, and they continue to assemble that quick disconnect for the ship. The ship adapter. That one's not a booster quick disconnect. That is a ship. Temporary MacGyver rigged together adapter so that they can static fire that ship there on the first pad. Right, back to that previous comment. Like, how many of you understand the importance? Like, why are they putting this little skeleton framework on top of this? I thought they were done with this. They've done multiple launches from this pad. Uh, bar that first concrete volcano that, that occurred, uh, this pad's been doing fine, right? Why do they need to m change it? Let me know down in the comments, because we've been kicking around the idea of, do we actually need to explain to people why this adapter is happening? And I think that's going to break down between, like, the super fans who already know, they already know everything about Starbase, they just like to tune in to hear the dulcet tones of my voice help you. Um, I don't know that anybody needs that. But, uh, and then folks who maybe really don't understand it. Looking up the tower, there is the, what are we looking at? Is that a ship QD arm with the chopsticks above it, it looks like? And a quick disconnect plate, but that plate currently has the protector in front of it, it looks like. You don't see a bunch of uh, big propellant holes in that plate, because it's got a little flip, uh, flappy cover that keeps things from crawling inside of them while they're there. Caesar with the art shot, Starhopper with the setting sun behind it. Draw a little smiley face on that. Looks like Caesar was driving up the road here as the sun was going down. And that's right there in front of the office building, the palm trees, which are surprisingly still alive. Well, good job, SpaceX. They probably finally figured it out. Got the American flag waving and the X logo. I guess the SpaceX logo there on the building. You know, sometimes people are like, yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. We know. We see it right there. Hey, it's cool. That's what's in the shot, the context of what's going on there. Speaking of, there's Ship 38 in Mega Bay 2. Jack treating us to a little bit of an inspection tilt here. Starting up at the nose cone, you see the tile work continues. Still have some pin sections there where the, uh, the TPS is not completed, and then we come all the way down to these seams, the expansion joints and stuff there where you see the tiles aren't completely connected. Another incomplete section. Actually, some of the backing sort of flapping out from behind it. You see those white areas on the outside. And then the wacky uh, test area that they have sort of down here at the bottom with the really weird tile patterns going on. But in any event, over there in the very back corner, it's on the left-hand side of that doorway. You can see it's not the Star Factory in the foreground, but in the background there in Mega Bay 2, you've got that uh, Ship 37, I think that was back there. Oh, I hope I said that one right. <laughs> I didn't go back and verify the label. Correct me if I'm wrong. The drilling continues over here. There's that big uh, auger continuing to make holes in the ground. Look at that. Is the excavator with the thumb, the thumb's not working right now, I'm just repeating that. I think it's cleaning it off. I am Okay, A, I'm surprised that there's not uh, something built into the drilling rig itself that does that, but they're, they're literally treating it like a... What analogy can we go with here? Um cookie beater? Not really. It's not like licking the batter off of the no, whatever. That's a really bad analogy. It's cleaning it. I'm pretty sure that was cleaning it. There is a party in Mega Bay 2. Got some lights there. A couple people standing around. Uh, they're dressed up. 
I know they were doing a fundraiser down there at Starbase, so maybe that's that fundraiser that was happening. Don't often see evening gowns out there at Starbase. Looking over at the nose cones in the factory as well. Saw a lot of comments in the previous video about the numbering of the pillars. It makes sense that that is a standard thing that they do in big warehouses or factories, like take it on down to pillar 113Q or whatever. Um, when you have a big warehouse and you need to figure out where things are, a big factory, right? It makes good sense. Appreciate y'all helping out down in the comments. Ship 42, Ship 43's nose cones there. We just check in with them on occasion to see how the work sort of progresses. And then we're over at Pad 2, and we've got that Booster Quick Disconnect hood that is not under tension yet. You can see the lines are still slack there, but it seems to be hooked up to a crane with the load spreader. And uh, let's see if we don't see this thing do a Kato, a crane-assisted takeoff. Not to be confused with the Sport Rocket Launch Katos, but there you go. Putting that blast shield in front of the booster quick disconnect. Now here's a plus Y forward flap installed on ship 37. Uh, Alex actually made a note in the back channel saying that the plus Y is the port or left hand side. If you're riding a starship down slim picking style, anybody know that reference? Uh, it would be on your left side from sort of the leeward side there. But that flap flying up and getting installed. And here's a second booster quick disconnect being installed over at pad two i'm gonna i'm gonna need to check in uh as to why they have two disconnects there i do see them are they 90 degrees off i haven't really paid a lot of attention to that specific setup there and i should i know we've got some fantastic flyover photos and stuff so i'll check into that so that i can talk a little bit more about it next time i mean y'all know part of this is is me watching these videos and being like hey that's interesting we should be able to explain that uh, we're not trying to script it all out in advance or anything like that, so appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. There's some gas generators over at the tank farm. I think those are the things down on the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Jack catching a little bit of a turbulent shot there. And then we got some dunes in the way here, some Boca Chica Air Force flying past on their patrol of the beach as we see pad one. Going to hop over to the side, and there is all that plumbing we talked about. Remember the Mario reference in videos past? There is uh, the continuation of the, te it says temporary ship QD assembly. Um, and is it even a ship, is it a QD? I think we might have called it that a couple times, but I think we've argued. Does it need to disconnect? Does it need to disconnect quickly? I guess we will find out. Still waiting to see if uh, those get shielded. There, we talked through that last video where the ship is not supposed to take off, so there should never be rocket flames above the main top deck of the pad there while they're doing a ship static fire. Those are ship chill down lines, those four lines that are coming up from the outside there. And then we've got a special treat. If you follow our other channel, Breaking Space, uh, where we try to put some some faster breaking snit, uh, like tidbits, snippets, of news this is lb jill liftboat jill who was out there in the gulf salvaging what looks like booster 13. on the deck there we're gonna get some close-up shots of this and of course we're gonna have a full analysis of it as well coming up in starbase update on monday but jack took the drone out obeying all tfrs and that sort of thing of course but you're seeing the inside of the bottom of the booster on the other side of that are the raptor engines pointing away from this perspective right in the plumbing you see there is the plumbing that feeds the engines from the top side of the engines like the intake side of the engines right and there is that massive jack-up lift ship salvage vessel that they had working out there for a couple days using that massive yellow crane there on the right-hand side to retrieve. It actually still has the load bar on top of it. You see that white bar with the red uh, components on it, right? Linkages, whatever you want to call it, shackles. So Jack ran out there. Dan was helping as well. We have some other uh, robotic camera views, but these drone views are absolutely positively fantastic and be on the lookout for more analysis of exactly what we can see oh look at the framing look at the production site and the two mega bays framed between the towers of the jack up ship there too cool big thanks for uh, big thanks to jack and dan for heading out there and getting those shots for us i think dan was there for moral support 
Right. Oh, so we just have more. Wow. All right. We have them from this angle as well. But uh, again, if you haven't followed the new channel, I have seen a couple people like, wow, we didn't actually know that was your channel. We thought it was a scam channel that was stealing your stuff. Uh, we put out so much content on the main channel here, we figured we would laser focus in on breaking news, shorter snippets that you can watch in a couple of minutes instead of needing a 22-minute deep dive or whatever, right? Over on Breaking Space. You probably link that down in the comments so that people can find that new channel if you want to. Yeah, this is that robotic camera view of it coming in all the way out there on the jetties. And that's on the south side of the ship channel. Here we're looking north, South Padre Island, on the left-hand side there. So we're on the southern jetty looking north as this enters the ship channel. You got a matching jetty on the bottom. You see the bottom of the screen there, that matching jetty? And for context, this is sort of looking a little bit, uh, let's say, north northwest really here. A little bit more towards the west. Brownsville would be over on your left-hand side. Port Isabel is going to be on your left-hand side. South Padre Island on your right-hand side from that perspective. But as always, folks, we appreciate you hanging out here, keeping up with what's going on down at Starbase. My name is John. Make sure you know, like and subscribe or whatever, especially if you want that full analysis that comes out on Mondays as we do our Starbase update. Appreciate you watching, and we will catch you nerds later.